string push right off the fingerboard well yeah. so we'll get rid of that and well thank you for joining us everybody and if you are watching drop us a line so we know you're yeah, there yeah it's, it's always great to hear from people yes. uh this next song is an old old wambler song uh it used to be our opening song all the time and uh, people have asked me to talk about that a little bit and so when we played this song uh we always had the lights timed if we were working in a, in a theater uh, uh for example and um, so we would come on and the lights would be off and, and I'd go. And the lights would go. That was very dramatic. How the lights go? So somebody, you know how they, they went off and on. You said they went. Yeah, they went. Huh? Da, 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 right, right where I go. That's that. Brian, get on those lights over there, will you? <laughs> well, she's under the light. Here we go. Over the mountain. I just found out her name's Damira 
comes through my hair And though I've only seen it once I hear it everywhere And I know Just call. 
song after four years of sleaze and um, everything I think I felt like everything about that song was felt kind of sleazy uh, singing it the singer the listener uh, <laughs> it's a, it's just about corruption well, we have our usual suspects watching tonight but you know who else joined us is John Martucci John Martucci yeah. I love John Martucci Joe Giglio's watching, of course. Michael I love Bryan. Joe Giglio. Blaze is on. I love Blaze. Blaze, you've been here for, <laughs> what, I think, four or five weeks in a row now, so thank you so yeah. much. I, uh -huh. um, you know, we love it. We really do. And you know, it's, um, we're your house concert. I've always wanted to do house concerts in the middle this of the low and behold. We've, we've arrived. Not we're the way we house, thought. Sort of. Not the way we thought, but. Yeah, and hi, Mom, and I don't know if. Still I haven't heard from the note from Karen and Jimmy, but usually they're they, they watch and and it's um oh, I'll, I'll see. I have something special to say to Karen if she drops us a note here. Okay, this is called "Whatever Happened," and uh, it's a great song to dance to. <laughs> Things I'm 
Karen's birthday tomorrow? It is. Holy cow. This was not on the set list. I think it's, I think it's time yeah, to deliver. I think we should, yes. Okay. You just have to remember, what are the first words? Um, um, I don't think, oh, okay. My friends, oh, I get the key. My friends, my friends went to college. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong key. <laughs> my friends went to college. They got lots of bucks. They drive shiny new Buicks and sport utility trucks. They'd all like to see me go to college at night. I thank them and I tell them that someday I might. In high school they taught me lots of things I should know. Like Shakespeare and Shelley and some guy named Thoreau. Oh, they tried to teach me logarithms, but there wasn't. Chance. Cause if a log has a rhythm, then a chainsaw can dance. I like my dog, his name is Ralph, and he's my best pal. He never argues or whines. We like to go out in the forest and take a whiz on a tree. puts the meat on my grill. She says that she'll love me for the rest of my life. If I get me a good job, she'll be my sweet wife. Well, my daddy used to tell me that I would go far if I just gave up fishing and I sold this guitar. He said, sell life insurance, sun or color TVs, or be a real estate agent, son, and be just like me. I like my dog, his name is Ralph, and he's my best pal. He never argues or whines. We like to go out in the forest and take a Dedicate to all 
people that I really care about. It's called the tether of life. And the tether of life is, is love. Mm -hmm. And although I wrote this at a very dark time, it's actually a really up song. Um, it, you know, sometimes it just doesn't pay to get into the blues, it pays to get out of the blues. And you have to give our, our uh, niece, Angela, credit for the last several lines. Yes, I adapted the last several lines uh, to uh, be, be oh, very similar uh, to uh, her poem, changing the rhymes just a little bit. Eddie Carloni just joined us. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Tonight's, tonight's poetry selection, I chose a poem by my favorite writer, I'm sure some of you know, and uh, I've devoted a, a, a great portion of my life to studying the works of William Morris because he really, is a, he really was a remarkable man. He was a 19th century man who was an early environmentalist who invented the fantasy novel uh, and who brought back so many fine crafts to the world, things, everything from handmade carpets to stained glass, uh, hand-printed books, uh, essentially was the father of the 19th century arts and crafts movement and England's number one socialist while he was alive. And um, this, is, uh, this reading, this poem, is, is the prologue to uh, the book that made him most famous, The Earthly Paradise. The Earthly Paradise is the longest cycle of poems ever written. Uh, this is volume one, and I'm going to read you a short thing from volume one. <laughs> and, not uh, tonight? No, not tonight. Oh, okay. but, this, but this particular version is also a miracle itself, because even though this, this work has fallen out of favor and nobody reads it today, uh, a, a wonderful scholar from, uh, I believe it's University of Ohio, 
uh, named Florence Booth annotated the entire earthly paradise so that we can enjoy all, of, all the little facts about it, all the little facts about the text and some various other things about printings, biography, and so much that we can enjoy about, about this incredible work of uh, literature. And this work contains almost all of mythology, both um, mythology from Greece and Rome and uh, mythology from um, the northern countries, from, from Scandinavia. And the premise, of, the premise of the tale is that these two people, these two groups of people, or people from these things, meet on this island somewhere as they're exploring. They meet on an island of uh, people from, from, Isla, uh, from I, I think it's medieval England, and, uh, and, and Greece, and they swap tales. And the, the people, I guess the medieval people who were from Greece uh, lived and evolved there. Anyway, it's a long story, but this is the this is the prologue, and it's it's really quite lovely. Um, so much so that people didn't remember the earthly paradise, but they remembered the line, "Idle singer of an empty day," which is a really famous nineteenth century line. And people called William Morris the idle singer of an empty day because of it. But nothing could have been further from the truth. Uh, when he died at sixty-two years old, the doctors said that he died from doing the work of ten men. He was, he was moving from writing 70 lines of poetry a day to tapestry weaving to stained glass moving and just going from work thing to work thing to work thing and hardly sleeping that he, he, really, he really wore himself out. Although, truth to say, he might have, he might have also had uh, tuberculosis. Okay. From the Earthly Paradise, this is the prologue by William Morris. Of heaven or hell, I have no power to sing. I cannot ease the burden of your fears. Or make quick coming death a little thing. Or bring again the pleasure of past years. Not for my words shall ye forget your tears. Or hope again for aught that I can say. The idle singer of an empty day. But rather, when a weary of your mirth, From full hearts still unsatisfied ye sigh, And feeling kindly unto all the earth, Grudge every minute as it passes by, made the more mindful that the sweet days die. Remember me a little then, I pray, the idle singer of an empty day. The heavy trouble, the bewildering care that weighs us down, who live and earn our bread, these idle verses have no power to bear. So let me sing of names remembered, because they, living not, can ne'er be dead, or long time take their memory quite away from us poor singers of an empty day. Dreamer of dreams, born out of my due time, why should I strive to set the crooked straight? Let it suffice me that my murmuring rhyme beats with light wing against the ivory gate, telling a tale not too importunate to those who in the sleepy regions stay, lulled by the singer of an empty day. Folk say, a wizard to a northern king at Christmas tide, such wondrous things did show that through one window men beheld the spring, and through another saw the summer glow, and through a third the fruited vines a row, while still unheard, but in its wonted way, piped the drear wind of that December day. So with this earthly paradise it is, if ye will read aright, and pardon me who strive to build a shadowy isle of bliss, midmost the beating of the steely sea, where tossed about all hearts of men must be, whose ravening monsters, mighty men, shall slay. Not the poor singer of an empty day. William Morris, beautiful, beautiful little introduction to his book of tales about heroes. And I, just, I want to clarify something that I'm seeing going on in the feed that, that um, about YouTube. We do post these shows on YouTube on Kurt Henry's page after the show, so it's not live on YouTube because uh, <laughs> our te technical 
skills aren't um, savvy enough yeah. for us to know exactly what we're doing anyway. So <laughs> not, not the so poor singers later. of an empty day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the poor idle singers of an empty day. But, uh, we get it there. Uh, but you can also, um, you know, you can also just go to the Kirk Henry page and it'll still be there. And we play yes, as Facebook, soon as we're done, Facebook, it begins yeah. to play over immediately. So you can yeah. see it there or you can see it anytime on YouTube. Yeah. And if you go to YouTube, you can see the old ones too, uh, going back to when we first started this in June. Um, yeah, John Walsh was saying that his audio quality wasn't good, so he wasn't sure that he could stay on. But you can watch it later, hopefully. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Even if it's not immediate. I hope that's not true universally because we're not doing anything different this week. Yeah. Um, but oh. if we are, I guess we need to know so so we can get it, make it yeah, better for next week. Is too. Where were we? Uh, we're on All Our Fathers. All Our Fathers, okay. Um, this is a song we, we uh, not too long ago had the great pleasure of playing at, uh, at a powwow of the uh, Ramapo uh, Native American uh, Ramapo Nation. And... Uh, uh, Ethan, remember Ethan's last name? It's Evan Pritchard. Evan, Evan Pritchard, uh, who is, is an author of many books about Native Americans, uh, heard the song and uh, it first kidded me about it. You know, uh, white guys from suburbia who write songs about Native Americans, uh, you know, it doesn't get high priority. <laughs> but, uh, but he liked the song a lot and invited us to the powwow and it was, it was a really nice experience. We, we, uh, we really enjoyed the people that we met and, and we're very proud that we were able to sing this song. This is called All Our Fathers and, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what I had in mind when I wrote the song. I was writing about acculturation, uh, both the acculturation of Native Americans who, you know, after we separated them from their native cultures and forced them into Indian schools and settled on their land, we did the same thing to ourselves and we forgot our, we forgot our immigrant national identities and we all Americanized for whatever um, that is worth and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and perhaps lost some of the color in our lives. I don't really know. Um, but, uh, but we still have stories. We still, still tell stories. We still sit around campfires and, and, and do those things that people always did. Uh, as I like to say, I, I, may not be, uh, I may not be a Native American, but if I could follow my ancestors back, I don't know, 40, 50,000 years, they'd still be chipping arrowheads. So, you know, it's all good. And so I don't have to, you know, you don't have to pretend you're... This is called All Our Fathers. And by the way, should I, should I tell them? No. Okay, I'll tell them afterwards. <laughs> Radio 
stalks in the night We in a circle were singing The stones in a circle survive Well, what a splendid night this has been. And once again, we're really grateful to have, uh, to have brought this house concert to your house. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you for tuning us in. I'll just tuning us, tuning in. Tuning it's, not, in. it's not the right thing, is it? Joining us. Joining. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we're going to finish up with a song about courtly love. Uh, and this is called Heart, Mind, and All. Which, by the way... Is a title song on one of our one of our albums, and um, oh yeah, which you can get on our website. And uh, right, which you can get on our website. And why is that great? That is great because if you go to dognoseband.com, it's dog k n o w s band.com, and purchase a CD, one CD, two CDs, as many CDs as you want, we match the price and we send that money off to local food pantries. So let me get this straight, because I, I'm a little confused here. You're saying if they spend a mere, measly, itsy-bitsy $10 and buy a CD on our website, that initiates a response from us, uh, from us that gets $20 to a food bank. Yes, you are very good at math. But it doesn't we, make any sense. I, usually, I admit it doesn't make any sense. We usually throw an extra too. So, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but but please do. We, uh, we 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 usually throw a little extra in as well. But yes. uh, it's our mission to help keep keep people eating. Yes. Because we are lucky we get to eat. Mm -hmm. You have something funny on your pedal, so. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so make sure you're not going to do that crazy sound again. Yeah. Uh. Okay, this is uh, called Heart, Mind, and All, as I said before. And yes, we're back on beer. Oh, I have to set something here. I have to set a, uh, an effect. Oh. See, I knew you had to do this... something on your pedal. Yeah, let's see if this works. Let's see if this affects it. Yeah, thank you, darling. Let's see if this works. Wow. <laughs> okay. Holy cow.
It's been a pleasure playing for you. We'll see you again next Thursday night with a with another set of songs, and um, and we'll look forward to that. Yes. Good night, everybody. Hi, Marjorie. Bye, Marjorie. Hi, Mom. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate you letting us come into your living rooms as you are coming into ours. We're so grateful you could make.